Hey there, fooders. So today we are going to kick off fall with some delicious pumpkin chili. Let's get in the kitchen and see how it's done. So we're gonna start by building our base to our chili. We're going to take two pounds of lean ground beef and just brown it off. We're going to start by breaking it up just a little bit and then we're going to add in one diced jalapeno, seeds removed or not, depending on how hot you want it, followed by one diced onion and three cloves of minced garlic. Then we're going to add in two tablespoons of dried oregano, followed by two tablespoons of dried basil. By adding the herbs and spices in now, we're going to toast them into the meat and layer that flavor. Then we're going to follow this up by adding a quarter cup of chili powder. And then we're just going to stir it together and brown it nicely. Now once we've got all the pink cooked out of our meat, we're going to add in one small can of tomato paste, about six ounces or so. Then we're just going to stir this into our meat mixture and cook it for about a minute or so, and this is just going to add that extra body and depth of flavor. Then to this, we're going to add in one 14 ounce can of our pureed pumpkin, and this is just going to give it that fall flavor and really thicken our chili super nicely. Let that pumpkin go for about a minute or so, and then we're going to add in three cans of beans, which you can use whatever beans you like, but right here I'm using two cans of kidney beans and one can of black beans. And then to that we're going to add in one can of diced tomatoes with the juice, followed by two cups of beef broth or stock. You can get this in a can or make it yourself. Then we're going to stir this together and add some salt and pepper. Just make sure you don't overdo it because it will reduce and it may become saltier towards the end. So make sure that you salt lightly and salt more later. And then for an added fall touch, we're going to just add in one bottle of seasonal pumpkin beer. And this is totally optional, you don't have to do this, but if you don't wanna do it, just make sure you add a little bit more beef broth. Then we're going to stir it together and top it with a lid and simmer it for an hour and a half to two hours. After an hour and a half, your chili will be this consistency. If you want it a little bit thicker, just leave the lid half on and cook it for another 20 minutes or so and it will thicken up nicely for you. The thing about chili is that it's perfect for leftovers because as it sits, those flavors come together more and more and it just becomes more and more delicious. So it's perfect for those lazy fall nights. Now we love to add cheese and sour cream to our chili, so that is how we're going to serve it, but you can do this chili just straight out of the pot if you would like as well. To finish it off, we're just going to sprinkle it with some green onions, and there you have it guys, some delicious fall pumpkin chili, perfect as you come home from that corn maze or that late cool fall night. Thank you guys so much for watching, we really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you guys next time!